Hello my dear students, welcome to Baiju's exam prep. In this concept of daily dose, we will be talking about a very interesting segment from strength of material that is a short trick to remember the theories of failure. It's very important for students because many, multiple number of times in many examinations you are getting a direct straightforward questions from the theory of failures. Usually one marks question from gate examination or in prelims also you are getting questions. So let us understand what is this short trick all about and if only just by having slight understanding you will be able to solve variety of questions by using this particular one table. So let me show you that table. So uh, if I talk about there are five theories of failure that we are talking about that is MPSD maximum pressure uh, maximum principal stress theory uh, which basically deals with the Rankine theory. MSST that is maximum shear stress theory which basically tells us about the guest and the Tresica theory. MDET that is maximum distortion energy theory it, which deals with the von Moises theory. Maximum strain energy theory that is M M M MSET that is your Higgs theory and maximum principal strain theory that is your St. Venens theory. Now in this particular understanding if you try to remember this sequence that is MPST uh, resembles Rankine, MSST that is GT that is Guest and Thrasica, MDET that is von Moises theory, MSET that is Higgs theory and MP STT that is your St. Venus theory. We will be having a very important understanding because we have to have what is the shape of that failure region. We always need to remember because many times you are getting that straightforward question. So this one uh, column that I have written is shear S H E E R where S basically stands for square, H stands for hexagon, E stand for ellipse, both E stands for ellipse, elliptical shape and R stand for rhombus. Okay, so just by knowing this sequence, you will be able to have a simple clarity that is MPST, Rankine theory, square, MSST, uh, Tresca theory, GT that is Guest and Tresca theory, hexagon, maximum distortion energy theory that is von Moises theory that is ellipse. Maximum strain energy theory, the Higgs theory that we call it as ellipse and the last one is maximum principal strain theory which tells about the uh, uh, St. Venens theory that is a rhombus. Okay, so the shape of the failure is very important. S H E E R shear uh, will be the sequence that we have to know and uh, MPST, MSST, MDET, MSET and MPST by using that particular understanding we will be having a clear cut clarity. Now try to have more understanding if I talk about a ductile material. For ductile material, the best theory that we have to follow is nothing but your MPST, that is maximum principal strain theory. Okay, MPST, maximum uh, maximum principal stress theory that we are using. MPST we are using for the brittle material. If I talk about ductile material, now ductile material we can have two possibilities. If you are dealing with MSST, if you are using MSST, then we are getting an over safe condition, right? And if I talk about MDET, we are talking about an economic Leave, uh, we can say economic perspective the design will be suitable. So we have to remember like this so as to solve any question very easy. Let us take one or two questions to have more clarity. Now the question is this is a previous year ESC problem who postulated the maximum distortion energy theory. So remember if I talk about MDET, MDET basically it was VMT that is von Moises energy theory. I hope so now this you can easily remember like this. Let me show you that table one more time. So MDET that is VMT and we are talking about ellipse. Okay, let us take one more problem to have more clarity. If I talk about for sigma 1 not equal to sigma 2 and sigma 3 equal to 0, what is the physical boundary for Rankine failure theory? So remember uh, when we are talking about Rankine failure, it is the first row that we are talking about and uh, she, uh, shear S H E E R. So Rankine theory basically deals with a square shape. So option C is the correct answer. Okay, so by this way, you will be able to answer any question coming from this particular segment of theories of failure very easily you will be able to solve it. Let me show that table one more time so that you are not having any difficulty. So maximum principal stress theory deals with Rankine theory, the shape is square. Maximum shear stress theory, MSST, that is your guest and Tresica theory deals with hexagon. Maximum distortion energy theory, that is VMT, uh, that deals with ellipse. Maximum strain energy theory that deals with Higgs theory that is ellipse again and maximum principal strain theory that deals with St. Venens theory that is rhombus. So I hope so you all understood this simple technique to answer almost simple one one marks question from the concept of 
theories of failure. So thank you guys for joining with me. I hope you all enjoyed. So for more such awesome short tricks and content, do stay connected with Baiju's example. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.